Hi everyone, I'm Emma Higgins and I'm a consultant nurse in mental health and I'm here to talk to you about Mental Health Nurses Day. You may have spotted that the day has passed but because it fell on a Sunday this year we've decided to run events the following week. For those of you who use Twitter please look for the hashtags MHNursesDay and hashtag WeAreNurses. So what exactly is Mental Health Nurses Day? So it's a campaign now in its third year and started by a, a nurse who thought that we should be celebrating and promoting this particular profession. And the campaign does just that, celebrates the profession. It gives an opportunity to promote the profession as a career. So people do, don't seem to know as much about mental health nursing as they do other areas of nursing. So it gives the public a better understanding of what mental health nurses do. So what is a mental health nurse exactly? So mental health nurses work with people and patients who have mental health problems. So you may have heard of things like depression or schizophrenia or dementia. And the role of the mental health nurse is to support these people to recover and to live as well as they can. The role also includes working with families, carers and other mental health professionals. So what areas can mental health nurses work in? Well, there's a wide variety of areas that you could get involved in as a mental health nurse. You might want to work with children and adolescents, so under the age of 16 years old. You might choose to work with adults of working age, so people between the ages of 18 and 65. You might decide that you'd like a career in working in older adults' mental health. So this is primarily working with adults who are over 65 years old, who have a range of mental health problems, including dementia. You might choose a route in addiction services. You might choose a route in forensic services. So this means patients that have been through the criminal justice system. Or you might choose a route in maternal mental health. So supporting mothers who have given birth or expecting uh, to give birth and who are suffering mental health problems. So whereabouts can you practice as a mental health nurse? Well, again, there's a wide variety of places you could practice. You might be in a hospital on a specialist mental health ward or unit. You might be working in the community, going into people's homes to support them. You might work in prisons if you're working in forensic mental health. You could be working in a nursing home, supporting older adults or people with physical disabilities with also mental health problems. Or you might work in an acute medical hospital in something like a psychiatric liaison team. So what else does the mental health nurse do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, the mental health nurse will make assessments of people's mental health. They'll be administering medication that's been prescribed for that patient. And they'll be making very important care and support plans to enable people with mental health problems to live as well as they can. The nurse will be contributing to clinical reviews, multidisciplinary reviews, so discussing the case with other professionals and supporting families and carers. And the role is very important for liaising with other health and social care professionals, so maybe GPs or social workers. So how do you become a mental health nurse? There is a nursing degree at university and there's a mental health pathway specifically for this particular field. Once you're qualified, you will be offered a preceptorship for a few months where a qualified nurse will support you and help you with the transition from being a student to being a fully qualified member of staff. Once you're qualified throughout your career, there is ongoing support and opportunities for development as you progress in your career. You might think about a different role that you want to branch out into. So you might like education. You might like teaching other nurses about mental health. You might want to go into research and do some quality improvement work and audits. Or you might want to think about uh, a role in management, so managing mental health teams or wards. Finally, I wanted to show you this slide of this pioneering mental health nurse, a woman called Dorothy Dix, who in the 19th century was a social reformer. She strongly recognised that people with mental health problems had specific needs and that weren't being looked after properly. She really did battle with the government to help recognise this unique set of patients and help get the appropriate care that they need by pushing the government to create mental health asylums. This really was quite something for this time as the focus was really on people's physical well-being and physical health with very little attention paid to people's mental health at that time. So she really was a pioneer and we are celebrating her. 
If you have any questions about what I think is the most rewarding career, then please talk to your head of sixth form about the pathway into nursing. And thank you so much for your time for listening to this. And don't forget the hashtags MH Nurses Day and hashtag We Are Nurses. Thank you very much.